Thank you for joining me this Friday, the 26th of May. I'm Grady Wall for Market Analyst for Bell Direct, and this is the weekly market update. As cost of living pressures begin to hit home for many Australians, recession fears are also rising in the U.S. Debt ceiling negotiations also in the U.S. have caused global market sell-offs in very recent times. Many investors are simply selling stocks in order to utilise cash to cover the increasing cost of living. Back home, Aussies are dealing with high inflation and many are sitting on the sidelines to avoid market volatility and perceived fall in equity markets. However, many are also looking to another strategic alternative to reduce their risk in their portfolios without cashing out completely. And it's called investing in income stocks. By definition, income stocks are companies that offer regular, steady income in the form of dividends over a consistent period of time. These companies have existing cash flows and therefore carry less risk than companies that are yet to establish stable cash flows from a genuine demand for their products or services. While we have witnessed some companies press pause on dividends during the recent reporting season, others are prioritising payment to investors who have stayed at the course. One way to find high dividend paying stocks is to use a stock selection tool offered to Bell Direct's clients called the Strategy Builder. When you log into your Bell Direct account, you'll find it under the Research and Tools tab. As a side note, when investing in income stocks, investors need to consider whether company dividends are franked or unfranked. About 80% of the dividends paid by S&P ASX 200 stocks are fully franked and this may help to reduce further tax obligations of shareholders receiving these dividends depending on their individual circumstances. As I mentioned previously, Bell Direct clients get access to a share portfolio construction tool. When building an investment portfolio, you can use the Strategy Builder to select from over 40 different microeconomic ratios and screens and the tool will lift out the stocks on the ASX that align with the screens you have selected. When entering in high dividend stocks to the Strategy Builder, several companies that come to the floor and and so to talk through one of the selections, let me mention to you the Accent Group. Now, the Accent Group is one name in the consumer discretionary sector that is thriving despite tough headwinds facing the broader sector. Retail spend on consumer goods is falling and as a result, investors are very cautious on companies carrying high inventory levels or companies that are facing a material slowdown in like-for-like -like sales. The Accent Group, however, has high turnover. Like-for-like -like sales are up 16 to 24 percent in 2H23 so far. And the company's dividend increasing significantly from the first half of 2022 to the first half of 2023. Now, when looking at dividends, it is important to consider the company's long-term average. Be careful of an increasing dividend yield in relation to a company's falling share price, as this may indicate the historical dividends are now unsustainable. Additionally, look to analyse a company's one-off payments based on the sale of an asset, as this may incre increase yields based on one a one-off event. These events are often referred to as dividend traps. That said, a diversified portfolio of dividend or income paying stocks can mitigate cost of living pressures currently hitting hip pockets in this high inflationary environment. Investing in companies that can more easily pass on input costs to customers due to the inelastic demand may also reduce overall portfolio risk. Locally from Monday to Thursday, like we have seen around global markets for the recent weeks, we saw the ASX drop 1.94%, led by a sharp sell-off in material stocks on the back of a decline in iron ore prices due to weakened demand outlook from China's steel mills. Information technology and energy stocks were the only two sectors to finish the week in positive territory. The winning stocks over the four-day period were led by megaports, soaring over 17% amid a rally for tech stocks and renewed investor appetite for high-value tech stocks, while Polynovo added almost 10% for the week and Technology One rose 6.8%. On the other end of the market, we saw Levisa drop 16% amid weakness in consumer discretionary stocks on the back of weakened demand outlook on retail spend front, which also hit Universal Store hard this week. Lake Resources fell over 14% and Brainship lost 13.8% for the week. On the broader market, the All Lords fell 2.07% from Monday 
Monday to Thursday as 29 metals tanked 38 per cent on the release of an update for its Capricorn copper. While Universal Store fell 29.6 per cent and Rhythm Biosciences fell 25 per cent over the four days. The most traded stocks by Belderac clients from Monday to Thursday were BHP, Rio Tinto, ANZ, Transurban Group, Brickworks and Fortescue Metals Group. Clients also bought into South 32 are taking profits from Woodside Energy, West Farmers and Mineral Resources. On the diversification front, the most traded ETFs by Belderac clients this week were Beta Shares S&P ASX 200 Australian Technology ETF, Vanguard Australian Shares Index ETF and Vanguard MSCI Index International Shares Hedged ETF. Looking forward to the week ahead on the economic data front, in Australia, building permits preliminary data for April will be released on Tuesday with the forecast expecting a decline of 3.2% in permits for the month from a 0.1% drop in March. Overseas JOLTS job openings data for April in the US is out on Thursday with the market expecting another decline to 9.2 million job openings for the month from 9.59 million job openings in March. While European flash inflation rate year-on-year for May is also out on Thursday with the expectation of a decline to 6.5% from 7% in April. U.S. non-farm payrolls and unemployment data is out next Friday with the market expecting a rise in unemployment to 3.5% and a sharp decline in non-farm payrolls to 180,000. And that's all we have time for this week. Have a wonderful weekend and as always, happy investing.